in the era of the cloud, does backing things up the traditional way still make sense? Joining me to help discuss that is Curtis Preston, AKA Mr. Backup, Senior Technical Architect at Druva. Curtis, thanks for joining us today. Glad to be here. So you have here a, what I would call a traditional backup architecture. What's going on with that? Well, you know, this is something I think you and I both uh, know well, right? In case people back here, right, <laughs> don't know. These are, you know, your typical client computers. They're gonna back up to some kind of backup server. And then, you know, historically we used to back that up to tape and then we handed that to a man in the van, right? right. So that that's the way we got our, our copy off site. And then somebody invented the concept of dedupe, right? And so now we could come down and we could back up to disk and we would dedupe either here or here. And then the beautiful thing was that we could um, replicate that over to here. Right. right. It gave us some vaulting. Eliminated right. this whole process. Without, yeah, we could, we, could, we could get rid of that, right? Yep. Because we all know that's not good, right? right. The man. Right back, with error. Right. The only problem with this, um, well, is it, it was just it was incredibly expensive, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, the idea with Druva is that instead of all of this, right, basically get rid of all of that. And we're just going to go directly from these guys. I don't know how beautiful I will draw this, but we're just going to directly go to the cloud. And uh, again, using dedupe. Um, and the beautiful thing is we don't have to maintain any of this. We don't have to worry about the man in the van. Uh, all of these target dedupe architectures, you end up paying for the dedupe twice. Right. Um, the dedupe that uh, Druva uses is significantly more effective than all of this. It's, it's what they call content aware dedupe. Um, and you end up with, with SLAs, which uh, I think that's something that customers have always been asking for. Right, think. sure. Well, the other problem here is you had to have that second site, right? Yeah. And you didn't end man it and, and have people at it and all that. There's a, a cost other than just buying that drive, right? Yeah, this is lots of dollars, right? Yeah. Uh, power, cooling, and some place to put it, right? And now, this, and, and now to confirm, this is just a direct from the server directly to the cloud, so there's not even a go-between sort right. of appliance sort of deal. And, and that does create some challenges, right? right? One of them is, how do you get that first copy there, right? right? So there there are, I don't know how to draw this, but there are, we'll call it the S for the seed, right? Okay. There is the ability to put a local appliance there for initially okay. to, to seed to that, and then that gets, you know, the sneaker net shipped to Druva, and then we can initially seed the, um, uh, the, the first backup over there. Okay. You know, this works really, really well if what this is is like 50,000 laptops, right. right? So the bigger the bigger you get, especially the bigger any individual system gets, the larger or the, the longer it might take to meet that SLA to do a, a recovery, to get a decent RTO. Okay. And so what we came up with was just uh, appliance that basically does sit there, and, and basically the backup first occurs to here, and then that gets replicated to there. And this is just a cache. Now, obviously, the cloud that you guys use is important. Who are you guys using for the cloud and why? Well, we're here at AWS reInvent, so right? I'm going to guess Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is definitely uh, AWS, okay. right? We have some customers that are starting to use other cloud providers, but our core uh, solution is AWS. Okay. So what are some of the advantages you guys see with AWS as opposed to other clouds? Well, one of the beautiful things, and I'm going to have to get rid of, which is what we do, Right. get rid, of this, <laughs> get rid of this stuff. Uh, the beautiful thing about AWS is whenever we send something to AWS, as we did in this picture, we end up with not one, not two, but three copies, right? Everything in AWS is always replicated to three different locations. Right. And so, again, that thing that we had here where we, where we back it up and then have to send it manually, it's, that's done for us automatically. Right. Right. And then the other thing about Amazon is that it's, I wish I could draw a big, well, I could. We'll draw a big world. I'm not going to draw Continents. countries and whatnot, but, yes, we get the but basically Amazon is everywhere. Right. right. So it allows us to be everywhere without us needing to be anywhere. Right. Right. Uh, and the other thing is that from a security perspective, this is an organization that has been vetted and vetted and vetted, right? 
Um, and so y you know that if you, choose, if you choose us and we choose them, you're dealing with an organization that's already been vetted by the largest governments and companies in the world. So, you know, Curtis, as uh, you follow this market, you've seen a lot of guys trying to evolve or grow into the cloud. Druver really started cloud from day one. Yep. You guys see that as an advantage? Well, absolutely. I mean, there are, there isn't a backup solution on the planet that can't just go up here and put a VM and and put your backup software in there and say, there, we're, we're in the cloud. Yeah, check. Right? Check, we, we run in the cloud. That yep. Anybody can do that, Sure. right? But we were designed in the cloud, and we were designed specifically with an infrastructure like AWS in mind. And so we, instead of using something like SQL for our database or B-Tree for our database, we used uh, DynamoDB. And this is at the core of the way we work, and we designed a file system that is designed to run on thousands of nodes or tens of thousands of nodes right. rather than, or a database that's designed to run on tens of thousands of nodes. Right. And so from day one, we built this massively scalable system, and then Amazon allows us to do that, allows us to scale up, right? When the customer, when we get a new customer and we need massive bandwidth to get that, the first backup of that yeah. customer, and allows us to scale down immediately and we can do all that dynamically. Uh, and all of that um, translates into, um, savings to the customer, uh, allows us to give much more power to the customer without having to build right. all those boxes and maintain all those boxes the way so traditional So clearly customer. a different approach when you develop for the cloud. So Curtis, I, I think people that have heard of Druva probably know it for endpoint protection, because I think that was your first entree into right. the market. Right. But you guys have really expanded beyond that, right? Yeah, absolutely, and, and I don't have any room left to draw, but we are definitely the leader in endpoint protection for protecting laptops and, and desktops, and also uh, SaaS applications like Salesforce and uh, you know, G Suite and Office 365. That was our original product, uh, which was InSync. And uh, the, the newer product uh, is called Phoenix, and that's des designed for this, right? That's designed to back up the middle enterprise to the cloud. Right, okay. uh, and then uh, finally, the new uh, product or, that we announced this week is Apollo, which is designed specifically to protect everything that's running in AWS. Oh, so right? even a, like an Amazon native application would be protected by that. Right. Okay. Today, it's going to protect AWS specifically, okay. and then we're going to expand it to protect you know things like DynamoDB and yeah. all of the other things, and S3 and all those those, and not just protect, but also manage those, those uh, resources. Okay, great. Curtis, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. So there you have it. If you've got that traditional backup architecture and you're looking for ways to leverage the cloud, this is a good model to kind of advance and move forward.